Hello again, I am Blunty, and I've been playing with a new bit of hardware on my continuing adventures, testing out the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. If you haven't seen them already, check the links in the description for the full-on review series and tests and bits and pieces and all that kind of gear. Now, last week I was unexpectedly presented with a chance to play with this, the Metabones Speed Booster. Now, those of you who are camera nerdy like me may already be aware of this new type of critter which hit shelves earlier this year. But for those who aren't, basically, it's a lens mount adapter which lets you use full-frame DSLR lenses on your mirrorless cameras. But things like that have been around for years now, so what makes this one so special and so desirable? Well, it's that it also incorporates a very carefully calibrated bit of optics which takes the larger image circle projected by a full frame lens and concentrates it down to an APS-C or indeed micro four thirds sized sensor. This has the effect, as the name might imply, of boosting the effective speed of the lens by about one stop. It makes it effectively a brighter lens, and also makes the field of view wider than it would be just using a standard dumb mount adapter, which would mean a cropped image. In short, it makes your mirrorless crop sensored camera act more like a full frame camera. The lens effectively becomes an aperture stop brighter, handing you benefits in low light shooting and keeping your ISO lower, thus negating the, generally speaking, lower light sensitivity of smaller sensors. And the image generated as far as field of view and depth of field are concerned look much more like if the lens was sitting on its native home on a full frame camera. And yes, I know some of this sounds a bit like gibberish and magic, but if you're still confused, think of it like this. It is the exact opposite of a teleconverter adapter. And if you don't even know what a teleconverter is or does, then this kind of equipment isn't what you should be looking at anyway. Go buy yourself a point and shoot or something. You'll be much happier. Now, as you may imagine, on the Super 16 size sensor in the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera, this adapter can make getting wide shots much easier, but also bring a world of other wonderful lenses into some very practical places for you. Okay, so that's all well and good, and this thing has been out since about February or so this year, although they were a bit thin on the ground in the beginning day, so they're kind of hard to get hold of. But, you know me, I don't like to recommend anything until I've gone hands-on with it in the real world. So... How does this thing work in the real world? Well, in a word, it works perfectly. The optical design seems to be absolutely spot on. A lens attached to the pocket cinema camera behaves very predictably. Focus peaking and exposure metering all work flawlessly, and you get pretty much exactly what you'd expect. No surprises. In this case, because I was testing with a very wide lens, that also means some barrel distortion. And I'd like to assume that anyone splashing the cash on this kind of gear would be aware of this, but just in case, let me be very clear about it. This barrel distortion is from the lens, not the adapter. I'm using a fisheye lens here. The good news is, though, despite the pocket cinema camera using a micro four thirds lens mount, its sensor size is a little smaller than the standard micro four thirds sensor. So thanks to the slightly tighter crop, you actually avoid the worst of the distortion and softness and vignetting that can sometimes happen at the edges of frame, especially with very wide full frame glass. And while I've left it completely untouched here, the fisheye barrel distortion isn't difficult at all to correct in post-production with the right software if you've got a shot that it bothers you in. Now aside from all that, the only real difference between using this setup over native micro four third lenses is that the autofocus doesn't operate, but the autofocus on the black magic is of limited use anyway, so no biggie. And as I mentioned before, the superb focus peaking mode works perfectly, both the magnification mode and the contrast highlighting modes, and you can use them in combination just as you can with any native lens. So nailing critical focus and pulling focus are as easy as you could ever ask for. The aperture adjustment on this lens is a standard stepped affair. Fortunately though, there is an aperture adjustment ring on the Metabones adapter itself and it is smooth and stepless, making it ideal for video use. And that means you get the best of both worlds depending on your needs. So, operation is flawless. I saw no penalty to sharpness. I saw no introduced lens aberrations or anything along those lines. The build quality, fit, finish, the lens mounts are all fantastic, solid, secure. Using it is easy and intuitive and it delivers exactly what it promises, bringing you all the benefits of full frame glass to your smaller sensed mirrorless cameras. There's Nothing not to love as far as I'm concerned, and I'd happily recommend it as a very practical bit of kit to arm yourself with, especially for those of you who've got an existing investment in full-frame DSLR glass. 
So thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.